Okay. Well, it had to happen. Thunderstorm sat on top of us, and now here comes the water. So I moved the truck up the hill. So at least I can get out, or at least survive in the truck. But now we have a river. Stay tuned. This could be disastrous. It's getting crazy out here in Craggy Wash, taking everything out. A superstorm. Okay, all hell is broke loose up in Craggy Wash. Big thunderstorms. Here comes the water. Are we gonna make it or not? Okay, I have pulled the truck up up the hill as far as I can get it without spinning out. We had a big thunderstorm just come over us and sit on us. Shirley, you okay? I'm good. Got my truck up high. I can't even see the waterfalls now. Yep. It stopped raining up there because the water was pouring over the mountains. So, Shirley's got her vehicle. Secured. But this is what happens when you're in the washes. Craggy Wash. You want to know why they call it Craggy Wash? This was dry 15 minutes ago. And it'll keep running for a while because it's all got to come down the mountains. So we'll monitor it. Hopefully everything will ease up. I think we're up on enough high ground. Another reason why we took this spot, we thought we could survive one of these. But there was water pouring over those mountains and all that water's gotta come down and go somewhere. And here it comes. And this is the road that you come in on. So you can see how fast things change out in the desert. One minute, you're fine. Next minute, the clouds unleash. Hear a little thunder up there. There's some still there's a big waterfall up there. There's a waterfall over there. These have subsided. It seems like the rain has come down, of course, because I'm out here with my GoPro. But hey, you got to be aware in the desert. It's just not sitting around a campfire. Talking with friends and eating potluck. Look at that. In a moment's notice, Well, the heavens have unloaded on us at Craggy Wash. Took out the easy up. We have the river coming down. This is nothing. Hopefully I caught some video of it beforehand where this whole thing was full and it's going all the way down there. So it's coming down from the mountains. Got a little break in the action. We're letting the dogs come out and play. There were waterfalls coming down there. And I hope I got that on video, but it was terrible. The wind was blowing sideways. 
we got our neighbors up there, neighbors here. Seems like we're going to be all right. But the problem is, just when it rains, you don't have to deal with the rain now. you got to worry about the rain coming from everywhere up there, coming down here. So, you may just think we're sitting out by campsites, having potlucks, and just sitting and waiting for it to get warmer, which we are. But then you also got to deal with this. It can turn terrible in a moment's notice. Stop the madness. Start the start the adventure. Okay. Look at Kim's dog. This is the calm before the storm. There's still forecasted to be heavy storms coming in, but there's no way we can leave. I guess we can get in the truck and leave. You want content? You want dog content? There's dog content. So anyway, this is RV living. I don't know what to tell you, poor little Princey down here saying, oh, uh, Daddy, what's going on? Daddy, what's going on? So anyway, we survived the second storm. Shirley, you okay? Huh? I'm just wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. It's all roses. Tell it's, not. it's all beauty pageants. It's all fine editing. No. Just come out and have fun. Live the life. Come on, let's go get you up. Right Gotta be prepared for it. Deal with the aftermath. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Look, the babies want to come out. What, what was that? What was that, Mr. Darrell? What was that? I don't know what that was. But we survived. <laughs> what you doing, Kim? Looking really fine. Hey, we're roughing in the back country. North Arizona. Surviving the storm. Thank the Lord that didn't fall over. Of course, the night's not over. You got to just hold your chair to throw it over or something so it doesn't blow over, you know? Oh, well, it's just a chair. I know, but it might hit her camper. Oh. So I pulled the truck up here to get on high ground just in case we had to shelter in place here. I know it may be kind of hard for y'all to visualize the ground but that's going at that angle. So I think we're all right. So far the wash is handling it. It's not scary, but we're prepared. And here comes the next bit of rain. So let me get this GoPro out of here. Some days here, out. Well, good morning, everybody. Hope y'all doing great. I haven't already told you, we've been staying at Craggy Wash. I don't know, for the last week or so. And uh, it's time to move on. Um, when we got here, this was all brown, and you can see it's all green now. And uh, you've probably already seen my video when it rained here the other day and all the water was ripping and running down this wash. So this is one of the reasons why you don't camp in the wash. You camp outside of it where the water can run by you. 
and luckily we did that because as you uh, probably seen the clip before this was all full of water and you can see where it eroded a lot of stuff out but anyway today we are going to pack up uh, we've got all our supplies that we think we'll need for a couple weeks from the uh, Walmart and the bashers up here in Havasu the ladies have endeavored Walmart and uh, so we're loaded so we're gonna pack up today and head out and we're just gonna go away from everybody because it's the right thing to do let this virus thing play itself out and just keep doing what we've been doing and we're having a fun time doing it it's, we're, we're having a blast I mean we're just not sitting in the desert kicking rocks we're out here exploring and playing cards and watching TV and catching up on all the series that you wanted to catch up for the longest time and now we got the opportunity so Kim's inside getting her stuff done and uh, we're gonna make a sit down video here shortly and discuss a few things with y'all especially for some of you uh, newer subscribers and some of you people are thinking about getting into RV full-time well, this would be almost five years I think we're over five years now that we've been doing it full-time saw a coyote this morning right on the top of that hill when we came out and Bentley saw it first he growled at it luckily I had him on the leash so I went to pick Princess up and uh, he just trailed off off the way so no harm no foul but they are out here and you have to watch your little ones because they will trick them act like they're playing and get them pulled away from the camp and they're gone so anyway we're gonna go out we're gonna head back to Quartzsite we still have already paid for La Posa South LTVA membership so we might as well go there we can dump we can get water and just hang out there for a while longer everything around here is shutting down uh, last year it was the government shut down now it looks like it's the world shut down so we'll just go out make our own little thing it's still too cold to go north we want to go north but it snowed in Flagstaff and it snowed in Williams yesterday so we're trying to go north but we can't so we'll just have to ride it out down here till it warms up because believe me we're ready to go it's just the weather's not cooperating so that's it we're going to roll everything up and we'll catch you back in quartzsite stop the madness start the adventure don't get sick <laughs> 